uh, give Stanford credit. I told our guys, what'd you think was gonna happen? We handled them at, at their place. They're six and two in their last eight games. They got some good players on that team, man. And um, for three days, they're getting ready for us. You know, they're coming in here to play one of the best teams in the country on the road. Um, we were, uh, our attitude uh, was way too cavalier. We were way overconfident. We weren't ready for the fight, but give the guys credit, especially Dylan and Will. Uh, I thought they uh, gave us great team effort. I was half fine with Will. Three threes, two of them in and out. The other one went down. Um, he shoots it well every day in practice. So um, we only had 20, we only had nine deflections at halftime. So, like I said, you know, the other team comes in, they practice too, give them credit. They had eight offensive rebounds in the first half. Difference in the game, they only had two in the second half. We had 13 and a lot of those in the second half. Obviously, Jaime's um, shows why he's an All-American. Just coaching, you know, like I told him and Amari, I love him, but uh, it would have been bad coaching to start him. Neither one of them had a deflection in the first half, which is almost impossible. They didn't have a basket. They didn't have a deflection. They didn't have a rebound. Got to give somebody else a chance. Well, oh, he's a good – Tiger's a good player, man. He's a good player. It's tough – you know, I, I will tell you, it's easy for me to – and for people to criticize – but when you got young kids being, uh, and they're under massive pressure, worried about their future, um, sometimes I fail at keeping their mind on, on uh, one day at a time. It's you know, and it's easy to say, well, they should know that. Well, you probably got a job and a savings account. And they're you know, they're kids. They're kids with the weight of the world on their shoulders. So, um, but like I said. It's good, you know, sometimes one man struggles, another man's opportunity. So Dylan's been deserving some playing time. I thought he did a great job defensively late in the first half. We were able to get it, you know, get it down to a four point game despite missing two front ends at a one and one and then I may miss his two free throws. But usually when, you know, when you do, when you do the right things, uh, you create your own luck. And it goes the other way. When you, you don't play well and you blow assignments and you go up and through screens against shooters and get back the word. That's when you miss layups and free throws. It tends to snowball on you. Basketball tends to reward uh, smart, hard, tough play, and it tends to penalize you when uh, you deserve to be penalized. But give the kids credit. They dug it out tonight. Uh, I'm not into some. I'm trying to win. I was simply trying to win. You know, I've said this all the time, you know, I, you know, um, I believe in Dylan and Will. They just haven't um, gotten a lot of extended minutes. You know, so when you have to switch as much as you do against their constant motion, you have to, it means their guards are going to have to block out. And, and Tiger was really struggling with his effort to block out. Uh, you get what you deserve. I mean, they, they know. I mean, you know, you have nine deflections, you're going to struggle. You know, do you think Stanford wasn't going to come ready to play? I mean, you know, Maxine Reno is a good player, man. So is, you know, Brandon Angel stepped it up. You know, Harrison's a McDonald's All-American. Jones a great, you know, he's a big-time scorer at Davidson. It's not like they don't have talent. You know, they've been six of their last eight. So you're going to have to gut it out, guys. The problem was they came, you know, our guys came in. We just did, we failed as a coaching staff tonight. Because um, sometimes, you know, you can say, well, we told them, but they pay us to make them listen. You know, we, well, sure, and we told them, but we, we didn't have them, we didn't have them ready. We were humble. We were not humble tonight. But uh, give them credit, sign of a great team, we were able to turn it around. 27. So there's the difference. That and the off and the rebounding was different in the second half. We, we were down like big. And we only end up minus two. We end up plus three on the offensive. So you got it. 
that was out of necessity. Kenny got hurt, groin injury. Mac was struggling with their, their motion. Uh, we didn't get it, it. It wasn't, you know, I'll have to look at it on film. You know, I will say this, you know, you see why I love Will McClendon. He plays so much. You seem like in the first half, we couldn't get a rebound and he just rips the ball away from the Like he wasn't tall enough to get it. So their big guy got it and then he just ripped it away. from him. So one thing about Will, he can, he, he, he plays, if you need toughness, he's going to give it to you. So if you're going to play small, your smaller guys would be like Will and Jalen Clark, or they're tough enough to play bigger. You know what I mean? So, but you're talking about offensively or defensively? They're both. Yeah, they tried to once. We were able to get the strip. You know, we fronted him, we were able to get the weak side help. They, I mean, they tried, but the pressure was there. Um, you know, we don't practice that way offensively. So uh, we were, you know, we're ad-libbing on the, on the fly offensively. The guys did a pretty good job of it though. Yeah, they fake zone, go, man. Well, we have wide open, you know, high, Tiger missed a four-footer. I mean, we got whatever we wanted. Just This wasn't a night where the ball was just going to go in all the time for us. So every time you thought, well, there's Tiger's got a four-footer in the lane, miss. Two free throws, miss. I mean, you know, it was just one of those nights. We had to grind it out. But this happens. It's why the season's long. So, we're, you know, got another one on Saturday, and we're down to five games left. But you got, uh, you know, you talk about, Nick Tart was talking about lessons, not for me, but for the guys. I told him in there, my whole speech was, you know, in life, you usually get what you deserve. We came in way overconfident and against a team that's was a totally different team. It's all coaches paranoia when you have to beat a team twice, which we have to do the rest of the way other than the Cal game, actually not in Arizona, but um, it's paranoia because your guys tend to think it's going to be a little bit easier. Got them up there, you're at home. But uh, give them credit. They're playing well. I thought, you know, Jared did a good job, and they were ready to fight. They're switching. They're doing a lot of funky stuff defensively. We handled that pretty decent. Um, and Dem's foul trouble killed us because we were able to pound it to him. If he could have kept him in there, we were able to – I mean, he was dominating them down low. But foul trouble, we had to get him out of there. So, All right, guys.